I'm out here today with a product that, if I recall, I picked up in the men's aisle at Target, and this is from Native. It's their Citrus and Herbal Musk Body Wash, and it's sold in an 18-ounce fluidic container. I would call Native one of those companies that certainly tries to be a little bit more natural than other soap makers. Uh, certainly their, de their deodorants are really uh, good, especially for people who have different skin issues like rashes, things like that. Check out Native deodorants, although they are expensive. And uh, yeah, this is an $8.99 bottle. Got it at Target. You can also find it at Walmart. It's an 18 ounce fluidic container. And you know, that week of using it was, was fun. I did like it. But one thing I will say about uh, the native body wash here, if, if I'm right about this being for men geared towards guys, and certainly I, I would think the musk would indicate that, is that one of the mistakes sometimes I see companies make is they use the same exact bottle, and certainly it is cheaper to do so, but um, one of the downsides are it doesn't sell as well with men because guys just don't want to use the exact same thing that women use. It's just how men are, you know, your average male shopper. But a good example of doing it right would be raw sugar. So they have the same exact bottle, but they change the coloring. So the white bottles are for women and the gray bottles are for men, and I think that is a fair compromise. Anyways, the fragrance on this one, it is certainly citrus, it's nice, and it mixes well with the musk. You're gonna enjoy it in the shower as a nice, mild fragrance, but once you stop out and towel off, it'll linger on you close in for just a few hours. When you're washing up with it, it's got a good foamy lather, and this is a body wash that did take care of my skin. Well, it left it neutral, which is fine. And here it is, it's a uh, clear liquid that moves at a so-so pace. One thing I do recommend is checking out the ingredient list. I'm gonna post that picture at the end of the video. And I really appreciate the fact that Native doesn't have a lot of ingredients and the ones that they do have in the bottle, they actually have a little section next to the name of the ingredient, which is always in um, gibberish almost for most people, but they actually explain it in plain English. And I think that is awesome. So check it out. All right, that is my review. I wanna thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.